Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today channel today's video I have a huge haul for you I just recently came back from IMATS I came back Monday today is Tuesday um, I was went to IMATS for three days um, Friday Saturday and Sunday Friday was a pro day so only pro members could go and if you don't already know I'm a licensed cosmetologist so I had access to get a pro card and it was exclusive for only pro members and that's where I got a lot of um, my product shopping done just because um, it wasn't as busy as Saturday and Sunday uh, so for the rest of the two days I took classes and I did go with one of my friends and we took classes Saturday and Sunday and I have a bunch of pictures that I'll go ahead and leave after the video a little slideshow and I'll show you some of the classes uh, they did makeup they did prosthetic they did 20s and 30s it was really really fun i had an awesome time i got a lot of stuff went a little overboard with what i got but it's definitely it was a once in a lifetime experience and it was awesome so i have this bag right here full of uh, products from imats and then also, before I went to iMeds, I went to Walmart and I had to pick up another mascara. So this is the L'Oreal Collagen Extra Volume. It's the one that's black and it just says L'Oreal. I love this mascara. It really is nice and black and it gives nice full volume, which I love. And then I picked up the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. And this was $6. Um... I'm almost out of my L'Oreal Infallible spray, so I want to try something different, and I'm hoping that this is good. And also, I haven't used any of this makeup yet. I wanted to make sure that everything was nice and clean when I showed it on video, and I need, like, a whole day to, like, play around with all this stuff. So, I went to Morphe, and I did get the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. So this is the box, and then here is the back, and it has a picture of the beautiful Jaclyn Hill. Um, and it says, I collaborated with Morphe to bring you a palette of my favorite colors from their collection. These shadows are so pigmented, and the best part is that they are affordable. So many of you requested a palette with my top Morphe shadows, so here it is. I hope you enjoy and tag me in the makeup looks you create. Love you guys. XO Jaclyn. So I love Jaclyn Hill, and... Um, I mean, who doesn't, but I was debating on, like, when it first came out, if I should get it online, and then, like, I knew they were having some issues on the website and whatever, so I figured while I'm here and there's some in stock at the Morphe kiosk, I should get it, so I'm gonna open it. This is what it looks like. They are gorgeous shadows. And I did swatch a few when I was there, and they are super pigmented. Let's see, that's one swipe. Um, I'll go ahead and do a nice orange. So there you go, and there's a good uh, variation between shimmers and mattes. So this is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. And also for Morphe, I picked up six brushes. Um, and I've never tried anything from Morphe at all, so the first thing that I got is the Morphe E6 brush. And this looks identical to the Sigma F86. I have it um, right here. So this is the Sigma F86 and this is the Morphe uh, E6. So this one's really, really dirty because I just used it and I have to throw the Sigma one out because it is shedding so bad but I've had it for quite a while since my junior year of high school so it's been a hot minute so this is the Morphe one and I'm excited to try it out and I also got the Morphe this is the M460 a nice contour brush I'm super excited to try uh, this one out because I want to kind of reminds me of the NARS Eda except it's a little smaller and I feel like it'd be better to use, but I've never tried the NARS Eda one either. It's just so expensive. 
Um, so then I got the Morphe E18, and this is just kind of a nice fluffy crease brush. And then I got the Morphe G24. This is from their Gunmetal collection, I believe. It's a nice blending brush. And then I got the M410, and this is a flat shader brush. And I do not have any flat shader brushes that look like this, so. And these are all pretty affordable. I don't remember the prices, um, but they're all pretty affordable. And this is the G23, and I do not own a fan brush at all, so I thought this would be nice just to dust some highlight on the cheekbones. And that's all I got from Morphe. So the next thing is these pigments and glitter from LA Splash Cosmetics. Uh, the first one is in Platinum Sand, and this is just kind of a dark... Um, bronzy color. Just a dark bronzy color. And then I got this one in pink sand. And this is really, really pretty. It's pink, but it has some gold reflexes. Gold reflexes in it. It almost reminds me like, of a rose gold type of thing. So I'm super excited to play with all of these stuff. I'm definitely going to be doing some tutorials and some prom looks. And I got the Ing I got the Inglot Inglot Inglot. So I got the Inglot uh, gel liner. This is the AMC eyeliner gel in number 77, which is their black. And I've heard a lot of good things about this on YouTube. And people say it's like the blackest black. So can open it. This is what it looks like. Just a gel liner. It's the top on, but it looks really, really black in the packaging, so hopefully it will be good, but I'm sure it will be. I got some lashes from the brand Coco. Um, I've heard quite a few people have been using these on YouTube, and I made a order a couple months ago and I bought four pairs and I used one of the ones in New York. I used a style Ariel and I liked it. So I wanted to get some different lashes. So like I said, these are from Coco and I got Goddess, which I'm happy I got because I just saw like Casey Holmes post a picture and she was wearing these and they look awesome. And I got Ariel again because I really, really liked this style. And then I also got two in the style Soho, which Luster Lux always uses these. If you don't watch Luster Lux, you definitely should. Um, so they're just really long and fluffy looking. So these are in Soho. So then from the counter, um, Lady Moss, which is a online website. I don't know if they have actual stores. I know Lady Moss have lashes, and that's where I actually originally bought my first Coco lashes purchase from. But they sell LA Girl online, and so LA Girl was at the Lady Moss kiosk. So I got a lip gloss, and this is the Matte LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the shade Fantasy. And this is a beautiful, bright coral. Showing up a little bit pink on camera but it's definitely a coral. And then I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. I got two shades, one is Classic Ivory and the next one is Light Ivory. So I'm excited to try these out because there's definitely been a lot of hype about them here on YouTube. So I visited the Anastasia counter and I actually did get to meet Anastasia. I'll go ahead and show you a picture right here. And I was so excited to get my picture with her, and she was so nice. Um, it was just very brief. We took a picture, and that was it. But definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So I got eight shadows, and this is the case for it. I didn't put them in yet, but it's 
the same thing as the contour kit, I believe. Yeah, it just doesn't say anything. It just says Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I got the shade Sienna. And I'm throwing it. So that's the shade Sienna. I got the shade Mermaid. So that's Mermaid right there. I got the shade Orange Soda, which a lot of people here on YouTube talk about. So I was excited to be able to get that. So that's very, very light Orange Soda. I don't know if you can even see that just because of the light. It's probably washing it out even more. And I got the shade Red Earth, which is this one right here. Really, really pretty. And I got the shade Rosette, which is this one. Wait, no, it's this one. Yeah, I did point to that. <laughs> and then I got Black Diamond. This one's really, really pretty. Can't wait to do like a prom look with this. I don't know if it will pick up on camera, but it's a black with some gold glitter in it. And then I got Beauty Mark, which is this one right here. Showing up a little bit lighter than what it looks like in the package, but I'll have to play around with these. And then the last one is Soft Gold, which this one is beautiful. I just don't know if it'll pick up on camera. It might. Really, really, really pretty. Use as a highlight or a lid shade. So that's everything that I got from Anastasia. So the last thing is Sigma. So I got some more Sigma brushes. And they were giving away like free little samples. So they were giving away these lip glosses and these are the Lip Vix and Hint. So I got two of these. That's what they look like. And I got the Firm Blender E44. I got another one of the Pencil E30. The funny story about what happened at the hotel, I dropped, I have another E30, and I dropped it in the side of the sink, so I couldn't get it out, so we had to call room service, and a bellman came up, and he had to, like, get a, um, just like a long metal wire or whatever, I think he used, like, a coat hanger to get it out, but it got so beat up, look what happened like it scratched the paint and it like made divots so you can see the wood part of it so obviously it's still workable but I want to get another one because not only is that one speed up but I use this so much and it is like my favorite crease brush so definitely wouldn't go into waste at all and I got another one of the Sigma brushes with the FA2 this has been one of my favorites for applying foundation lately so I really, really like this. And then I got another angled brush. This is the small angle E65. I really, really like this for brows and I kind of want to start using it for eyeliner. And then I got two of the um, E70, which is a medium angle brush. So they were giving these away and I got two of those. And then they were giving out samples of blushes, so I'm going to open this up to show you guys. So there's blush, highlight, and contour, and there's four shades. Mellow, this is Peaceful, this is Born To, and this one is Siren, or Serene. So these are some samples, so that was really, really nice of them to do. And that is everything that I got at IMATS. I got so much stuff. I uh, can't wait to try it all out. And um, like I said, I will have some pictures after this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would highly appreciate it. And if you want to keep in touch with me, 
I will leave my Instagram and Twitter names um, on my end card. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.